Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Back to our Serenity series, guys. Today I'm going to cover two important things that how to design the pending test cases. Let's see, development is still going on for those test cases, and those test cases are not yet completed. So, how will you mark them pending? So, there is one annotation that is called at the rate pending annotation. So, I'll show you that one. Second one is that we are going to cover about that is the unique session of the web driver, unique session of the browser for each test class, how to do that. For example, let's see for this particular accounts page uh, test. I have already returned three tests over here. See these three test cases are already returned. It means three times browser will be launched. So you simple right click on it and go to run as and you see that three test cases are there three times browser will be launched. So this is first time browser is getting launched and uh, getting executed that. Okay, and then after first it will close the browser and again browser is getting open for the second test so what i want i want to maintain all the test cases within the same session right or within the same browser i don't want to close it and open it again so how to uh, do this in that case so serenity provides one very good feature that is called inside at the rate manage you can write one it is still executing you can write one attribute that is called a unique session attribute. So let it run completely. Okay, three test cases. One got failed somehow. That's okay. Now what I'm going to do, I simply write a unique session is equal to true attribute I'll be passing. Now I'm going to run it again. So let's run it again, the entire test once again. And let's see, it should open only once. The browser should be launched only once. See? And within the same browser, all three test cases, if you have written 50 test cases also, all 50 test cases of the same class will be executed on the same browser. See, it's not going to close the browser now. And for when it will reach to the second test, it will start the test from the beginning. Beginning means it will start a test from the, after entering the URL once again. So that is the advantage that you will get it over here. And you will see that three test cases are absolutely working fine like that. Same thing, you can do it for contact us page also and the login page test also. But the thing is that you have to write this particular at the rate manage web driver browser every time in every test class. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to create one base test over here, a parent class of all the test classes. So right click on it and uh, inside your app test package, create a Java class and I simply write, let's see, this is my base test. Right. And in this particular base test, I simply maintain that particular annotation that at the rate manage you cut it from here and then move it over here so that we will place it at the common place and then you remove from every class same thing for login page test also you remove it from here and then every test class will extend what so i'll be using extends keyword it will extend the base test and uh, same thing for other test classes as well so i simply write extends a base test and uh, extends base test from here it means whenever i'm going to execute a specific test class first it will go to base test and will take this particular annotation with the unique session of the driver from here so you don't need to mention for each and every class so that is what you can do that later on we will see that how can we implement all other preconditions inside the base test likewise we can do that now let's run it and let's see. Let's see. I have contact us a test.java where we have written. Let's see one test. So let's see. Go to login page test. We have written only again one test. So let's see. Three test cases are written again in accounts page. It is picking from the base test or not. So let's quickly run it and let's see. It should open only one browser. So see, only one browser is getting launched. Okay. So it's not going to open the second browser for the second test. Perfect. So I'm going to terminate that. Now, second thing is that if you want to execute all the test classes together, right? So you can execute with the help of Gradle test because if you go to the build.gradle, build.gradle says that, okay, yeah, test, you can start executing this particular test task from here. So how will you execute that? You have to go to the terminal and simply write Gradle test, right? Now here we have three test classes and under those three test classes, we have different test methods are available. So one browser will be given to the specific test class. So let's see Gradle test. So first let's see whatever the test is getting picked. So it's picking, let's see contact us test. So in contact us test, we have, let's see two test cases are there, will be executed on the same browser. 
then for accounts page a separate browser will be opened like that so for every page every test class you will be getting a separate browser now see again a second browser is getting opened and this time it's executing accounts page test so as i told you that for every page test it will take a separate browser and all the test cases will be executing on the same browser right so i'm going to terminate that simple press control c it will be terminated this is the first thing second thing is guys that you can write some pending test cases as well for example let's say you go to accounts page test and you simply write i want to execute some other test cases on the same page i simply write let's see at the rate test annotation and you simply say that okay yeah the development is still going on and i write that okay accounts page let's go to accounts page first so right click on it go to new window and i simply write let's see automation practice.com and i'll go to this uh, let me go to my accounts page over here let's see and let's see i want to write some other test cases let's see order history and create create slips or my address or my wish list so i simply write okay accounts page order history test but this test is still pending the feature is uh, not yet developed or maybe from your side also it's pending so i'll write couple of test cases like this Test case number one, two, three. Let's see. This is my order history. This is my uh, wish list. And let's see. I'll create one more accounts page. What do you have? Let's see. Address. My address test. And I have not written any single of line of code over here, or my development is still going on. So I can simply write with at the rate pending over here. It means in the report also it will be displayed as at the rate pending test so you have to annotate with at the rate pending test so when you execute them what will happen these three test cases will be shown as pending and these two test cases, three test cases will be executed so let's run it and let's see what kind of report it is again yeah now it's picking all the test cases and we have already maintained the unique session so only one browser will be open for all the test cases and you can see in the serenity all these two test cases uh coming with some you know a pending mark over here test ignored this is called ignoring the test case so almost everything is done you can see that okay this is a report got generated now i want to generate the complete report uh, html report what you have to do guys you simply write from the command line simple write gradle aggregate okay and run it so the report got generated aggregate report and then we will see the report is saying that uh, available in this particular target directory so we will go to the target directory open that and uh, let's go to the index.html file right click on it and open the browser in firefox so here you will see that now the tests are in the pending state like this coming with some some blue color or something if you go to the test results over here and you will see that okay yeah these are the test cases in the pending state it's also showing the previous uh previous test cases also but that's okay you can ignore the previous one because we have aggregated the complete report but you can see that okay test one test two test three and then some wish list and my address and order history test is also in the pending state when you click on it there are no steps it's saying pending the status is pending over here so likewise you can show such kind of reports with the pending state test cases as well with the at the rate pending annotation and this annotation is actually coming from from where from serenity you can see that the import is coming from serenity over here okay so that's all for this particular video guys please practice let me know and i'll push this entire code to the repository so let me just do it right away in front of you guys let me just quickly check the status and i'm going to add it and i'm going to commit minus m i simply write updated new code and get push i've already created the repository the repository url i'll be giving you in the uh, description of the video and this is the repository url you just simply right click on it and uh, simple open that so you can see that okay the entire repository is available and you will find entire whatever the code that we have written under this particular java so today that we have created this uh, base test.java it's available over here like that so please take this particular code you can uh, download you can clone this uh, code from here 
and start practicing it let me know if you have any issues with that till then thank you so much please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues take care and god bless you always